Justice League Unlimited Series 3 Episode 9 titled Grudge Match and this episode is an episode that you kind of question a little bit like why it wasn't needed, didn't we add anything to plot, it's kind of a filler episode really and it's basically the attenuation of the uh, like the Fight Club episode from like the actually the first episode of Series 2, the Fight Club episode and the whole time, I'm like, this just feels meaningless. Definitely in the beginning. The beginning is like, I don't know what, no, because basically, you know, the, the, um, I forgot the, the, the character's name, but the one who runs the, uh, grunge matches are getting low ratings, can't pay the bills because the fighters are not A-list superheroes. And so she goes to Lex. And the whole time, I'm like, why? Just get, just get, try to get some superheroes, simple, you know, and, you know, and, you know, we find out that they get Black Canary, and, uh, and Fire, and, um, and, and Hawkgirl, Vixen, and Wonder Woman, and, the, the, and the whole time it's, I get it, it's called Grudge Match, you want to have action scenes, but the entire episode is just there so we can have some cool action scenes. That's it. That's basically the purpose of this episode. There's no sense of reason behind this. This this is a story that I felt ended with that first episode of about the the Fight Club. It just felt really unnecessary to the point I really didn't care. And actually, did, did was it for me or did the the voice for Black and Eric was a little bit off? Like it sounded like she had a cold or something or. Quick, you know, lost her, lost her, lost her voice or something. Because the whole time she's whispering, and it's like, why? This, yeah, this, this episode, not an episode that is needed.